guys today i am here with a tutorial of this kind of card a book style card as you can see here are the book pages and it's a 6 inch by 6 inch card uh, let me show you the dimensions 6 inch by 6 inch so it's no 6 inch by 5.5 inch yeah, approximately a square card so for this we need some craft supplies let me show you what we need a card stock sheet 6 by 12 inch uh, this is going to be our cover cover of the book and 5.5 by 8 inch card stock pieces which we need for for the rim of the book Uh, or you can see pages of the book and some printed pattern paper i am using here a pink shade a coordinated shade and a satin ribbon you can use organza ribbon or any other ribbon and ink pad and i'll show you why this ink pad is required will distress all the pages of our book and the other usual craft supplies like double sided tape glue pencil scissors etc so let's get started so first of all for making our cover we need to score it at 5.5 inch mark and then 6.5 inch mark so this will be our cover use your bone holder for the crisp lines So this is our book cover. Keep it aside. Now take a card stock of 5.5 by 8 inch and start scoring at half. One, 1.5 inch mark, two, 2.5 and so on. You need to make a zigzag pattern, or you can say valley and mountain. Seven, seven point five, and eight, and start folding it. the lines should be crisp as you can see so a zigzag pattern is here repeat it on other two card stock i have done one more let me do it off camera once all four sides are ready it's time to distress uh, i am here using artistry ink sweet toffee Stressing its edges. This will give a look of old rusted book. Distress all the edges from both the sides. Repeat it on. all the four sides so once all the edges are distressed it's time to assemble this so you just be little careful this open side should 
match to the another one and we have to protect each in the group so these will be fit to each other Either use a glue dot or fabricol or double sided tape, whichever you want. I am here using a bit of fabricol here. Make sure these are aligned perfectly from the corners. Use the glue on the bottom side also and press it. Now it's time to put another. So once all the sides are fixed, we can get a rim. This will be our box. So, guys, as you can see, these looks like pages of a book. Now it's time to mat our cover. I have already cut it a few printed pattern paper. So I'm just gonna paste it with the help of glue. double sided tape if you want but I am comfortable with fabrical so I am using here fabrical for pasting these pattern paper cover of book is ready. Now it's time to assemble this inside and I have made a rim as you can see here to put on top of it. So let me just use a bit of glue all over it. And um, here on the background, I am using a different kind of pattern paper. And I'm just apply a little bit of glue again on the bottom side. Paste it this way, but I want to de-stress the edges of this pattern. 
pattern paper so with the same sweet toffee ink pad it's a bit brown in shape um distressing all its edges worry if it's a little bit in smaller in size because once you put it here nothing gonna show so now again applying lots and lots of glue on the back side should be here uh let me cause i forget to use uh, uh this ribbon for closing which should be here inside here before pasting this pattern paper now i'm going to use it on the outer side so this will be here but because i have pasted pattern paper here so i'll paste another pattern paper to so that this will be disappear Pinch again, and then just cut the corner. Perfect. So this will be our corner pocket. And before pasting it here, I'm going to mat it. For the top and other piece is for the bottom. Let me show you how. With the 
help of double sided tape i'm going to place one part on the top Time to add the other half of ribbon on the back side. Thankfully, I haven't matted it yet. So I am here using a double sided tape. Oh, uh, let me line it straight. Our, our book is all, almost ready, yeah, almost ready, but it's time to make a tag for this corner pocket and for this I have already cut it a pattern paper. I have used a simple line paper whose corners are already round again with the help of punch uh, with the help of glue favicol I'm gonna place it on the back side of the tag So guys this is our book style card or you can say book uh, box shaped card hope you like it this tutorial this tutorial is helpful for you if you like it 
डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल गिव दिस वीडियो थम्स अप शेयर माई वर्क विद ऑल योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स एंड फॉर मोर आर्ट वर्क like my facebook page or my insta page and i'll upload a another video of decorating it from the outer side so guys see you soon bye bye here are some still pictures for your reference bye bye guys